Lesson 30, I will solve division problems with a zero in the dividend or with a zero in the quotient. So today we're going to continue our division, but today we're going to talk about what happens if you have a zero in the number that you divide by or if you end up with a zero in the answer. So go ahead and get your journal ready today. We're going to do one problem and see what happens when we have a zero in the actual dividend. And then when you're ready, I want you to go ahead and press play. Division problem 804 divided by 4 in your okay? And we're just going to solve this together in your journal. So, first of all, we're going to look at dividing those two numbers and our largest number by 4. And I want you to think about whenever we're doing division, we always start with the largest place possible, which I know is the, is the opposite of when we're adding and subtracting. So, we have 800s. So, if I have 800s and I divide it by 4, I'm going to have 2 and 2 times 4 is 8. So, that leaves me but here we get to the zero in the dividend. Okay, so we have a zero here, and I can't just skip this and go right straight to the fours because what happens is I'll end up with a hole in my quotient and it won't be the right answer. I have to go ahead and bring down the zero. So how many fours are in zero? And the answer is zero. The zero here in the quotient is very important. Without this, our answer will not be right. So I have 0 times 4, which is 0, and that's going to give me 0, and now I'm going to divide the 1s. So 4 goes into 4, and I multiply that gives me 4 minus 4, which is 0. So my answer is 201, the remainder of 0. Now that I check the multiplication, I want you to take 201, multiply it by 4, should be an easy multiplication problem, and see if you get 804. Should have ended up with 804, so our answers do match. Right, so let's get ready for our problem set. All right, so go ahead and write your name at the top of your problem set. Several of you don't do that, or you don't write on your exit slip, because I find your papers all over the place, and we never know who they belong to. So just put your name at the top of your paper. And then our directions are pretty simple. It just says divide and check your solutions by multiplying. So remember today, all of our answers are going to have a zero in the dividend. All of our problems. So we're looking at what happens when we get that zero, because sometimes Fourth graders get really confused when they come upon a zero. All right, so I have two divided by four. So in the past, whenever this number has been smaller than this number, we've put a zero. And then I've said zero times four is zero, and we subtract, and we have zero, or we have two. Today, I'm actually going to skip that step. Instead of putting a zero here, I'm going to look at this number as 20. 20 divided by four is five, but I want you to notice These are actually 20 tens. So the 5 has to go in the tens place. If I put it over the 2, it would end up being a 500. All right, so 5 times the first 20. And I'm going to put that. I have no tens left, but I'm not finished. I still have four ones. Four ones divided by four is one. And one times four is four. That leaves me with the remainder of zero. So now I'm going to check using multiplication. So 51 times four. One times four is four. And five times four is Answers do check. All right, so let's take 704 and divide by 3. So I think to myself, how many times are 3 going to 7? And the answer there is 2. So 2 times 3 is 6, and 7 minus 6 is 1. So now I'm going to add my 0 to my answer. So now I have 10 tens. So 3 times 10, 3. Because 4 times 3 is 12. 14 minus 12 is 2. So I have a remainder of 2. So I take 234 and I multiply it by 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. So 10. So I have 2 times 3 is 6. So I have 7. I'm going to add my remainder of 2. And that gives me 704. So my answers do check. And divide by 3. See if you can try this one by yourself and then come back and check. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. 3 is 6. That leaves me with no hundred. And then I end up with 2 tens. So 3 join 2. So, on the line, so this would be 0. 0 times 3 is 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. 
I'm going to add that to the 1. So now I have 27 ones divided by 3, which is 9. And 9 times 3 is 27. So I have a remainder of 0. So I'm going to check. 3 gives me 27. is 0. Plus 2 is 2. And 2 times 3 is 0. So I'm going to add 407. Going to leave me with no hundred. So that's there are no tens. So we're going to zero. Zero. So zero minus zero. Zero minus zero is zero. So we're going to add one to that. So now seven divided by two is three, and three times two is six. That leaves me with a remainder of one. So that's it. Two times three times two. Nine times two is six. Zero times two is zero. Two is four. So I have my remainder of one. That gives me four hundred seven. So that's your check. Okay. So if you're feeling confident, you can try to do some of these problems by yourself. Then I want you to come back and check and make sure that you got it right. If you did it right, remember you need to listen to the explanation so that you can figure out what you did wrong. So seven hundred sixty divided by four. Four goes to seven one time. I'm going to add that to my six tens. So that has nine, four, seven, nine, four, thirty-six. So now I have zero, and I have zero ones. I can't stop there. I have to put in this ones place. I have to have a zero here. Zero, zero, zero. So I have a remainder of zero. So I'm going to check. One hundred ninety-four. Zero, zero, zero. Nine, four, thirty-six. One times four is four times six is seven. Answers do check. 5,120 divided by 4. 5 divided by 4 is 1. That's going to leave me with 1,000 left over. I add that to 100. So that 4 goes into 11. So that's 8. That leaves me with 300. So I add that to my two tens. 32 divided by 4 is 8. 8 times 4 is 32. That leaves me with 0. Zero ones. I have to put a zero here. Four goes into zero. Zero times. So I'm going to have to zero. I'm going to have zero. Right, so let's check. One thousand hundred eighty times four. Zero times four is zero. Eight times four is thirty-two. Two four is eight. Plus three is eleven. One times four is four. Plus nine is five. So that is seven. Number seven. So I have 3,070 divided by five. So this is another one of those problems where I cannot take five and or I can't take three and put it into five groups. I don't have enough. So I will have to, I could put a zero here like I've been doing in the past, but instead I'm going to skip that step and I'm going to think of this as 30 divided by five. So 30 divided by five is six. And so notice the six goes in the hundreds place, not in the thousands place. 30. 30 minus 30 is 0. And now I'm going to add my 7 tens. 5 goes into 7 one time. I have 2 tens left over. And I have no 1. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 5 times 4 is 20. So I have a remainder of 0. So let's check and see if we get the same answer. 1 times 5 is 20. 1 times 5 is 5. So 2 is 7. And 5 times 6 is 30. So I have 3,706. 6, divided by 5. Right, so if you haven't tried any by yourself, I want you to try to do this one by yourself and go as far as you can. And if you get stuck, you can always come back and press that. All right, so 6 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. I'm going to add my 700s to that. 17 hundredths divided by 5 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. 17 minus 5 is 2. I'm going to add my 10s. So now I have 20 divided by 5, which is 4. 5 minus 4 is 20. That leaves me with no 10s left over. I'm going to add my 6 1s. 6 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. That leaves me with a remainder of 1. So I have 1,000. 
341, and I'm going to multiply that times 5. 5 is 5, 4 times 5 is 20, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17, 1 times 5 is 5, and now I have to add my remainder of 1. That gives me 6,706, so my answers do check out. Want to work? I've got 8,313 divided by 4. So again, try to do this problem by yourself and then come back and check and see how you did. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. That leaves me with a remainder of 0. I'm going to add my 300s. And 4 goes into 3. If I have 3 and I try to put it in 4 groups, I don't have enough. So this would be 0 times. And 0 times 4 is 0, so I have 300 left over, and I add that to my 110. So now I have 31 tens divided by 4. That would be 7. 7 times 4 is 28. So 1 minus 28 is 3. I'm going to add my 3 1 to that. See it. All right, so now I have 33 divided by 4. And I know 8 times 4 is 32. So would be 8. That's going to leave me with a remainder of 1. So 2,078 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32. 7 times 4 is 28. 28 plus 3 is 31. 0 times 4 is 0. So I'm going to get 3. And 2 times 4 is 8. I have 8,312. I'm going to add a remainder of 1. That gives me 8,000. 313, so my answers match. All right, so I've got 9,008, got two zeros in this one, and I'm going to divide it by 3. All right, so 9 divided by 3 is 3. That's going to leave me with no hundreds. I'm going to add that to, or excuse me, no thousands, I'm going to add that to my hundreds. So I know that 0 divided by 3 is 0. So 0 times 3 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. I have 0 tens. Again, it's going to be 0. And then 0 minus 0 is still 0. I'm going to add my 8 ones to that. And 3 divided by 8 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. So I have a remainder of 2. So now I'm going to check 3,002 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 0 times 3 is 0, 0 times 3 is 0, 3 times 3 is 9. Now I'm going to add 2. <clears throat> that gives me 9,008. Right, we've got two more problems left. All right, so we're going to divide 3,031 divided by 3. We find the quotient and the remainder, so that means to divide. So we're going to take 3,131, and we're going to divide it by 3. I'm going to have to write small to fit this in here. So 3,000 divided by 3 is 1. So 1 times 3 is 3. That's going to leave me with 100. No 3s can fit into 1. So when I subtract this, I'm going to have 1, and then I'm going to bring down my 3 tens. 3 goes into 13 4 times. 4 times 3 is 12. This is going to kind of run over. 13 minus 12 is 1. I'm going to add my 1 to that. 11 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 11 minus 9 is 2. That gives me a remainder of 2. It doesn't say to check, so. so it says, how could you change the digit in the ones place of the whole so that there would be no remainder? So if I go back up here and look at the digit in the whole, in the, in the ones place, it is a 1. So, when I added the 1 to the 110 that was left over, I subtracted 9, and that gave me a remainder of 2. So, the question is, what could I change this 1 to be so that I would have a remainder of none? Well, you know, if I had one more here, I would have a remainder. So, think about that for a minute. What could I change that 1 to be? Look at what happens if I change it to 2. If I change this to a 2, look at what happens. 
happen. This is a 2. So when I put it down here, this will be 12. And then 12 divided by 3 would be 4. Four times three is twelve. So how would you change the digit in the ones place of the whole so there would be no remainder? So the answer to that is I could change the one to a two. Then I added the two to the ten that divide evenly three. Make sure that when you are by yourself, if you get confused, you always go back to the problem set to make sure that you are doing the steps correctly. And you can still draw a place value chart. But the place value chart tells you exactly what's going on here. So if you look at your place value chart and your value disk and then think about what you're doing, it'll help you whenever you are dividing.